Ogbon of Igbon land, an ancient town here in Ogbomosho or your state, Nigeria. If you are familiar with history of Yoruba land, you must have heard of Olubon and Aresa. This Igbo town has been slated for Daddy Gio to visit during this December 2023 Let's Go Out Fishing. He will be landing in the palace, after which he will be paying a visit to the paramount ruler, His Royal Majesty, the Olubon of Olubon land, before he appears at the crusade ground where people are gathered waiting to receive him and to receive blessings of the Lord even during this season. I'd like you to relax, sit back and watch the service and the Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. My name is Mike Adekunle. <laughs> I want you to begin to wave your hands up to the Lord. God that holds every day. God that holds every time. The same yesterday. The same forever. The same forever. The unchangeable God. The God that says the God that does. He cannot do wonders in heaven. Lord that is able to come into our midst. to wave your hands up Let God identify your hand that is in there. Let God see that you are able to come into our midst. Let God see that you are able to come into our Let God see that you are able to come into our midst. Let God see that you are able to come into our midst. Let God see that you are able to come into our midst. Let God see that you are able to come into our midst. Go, go, go. 
on dupe. Let God see you that Jack you are not go away on dupe. Let God hear your voice. Oh Lua, oh Lua, that you are not on dupe. No worry. Thank God because God gave us his only begotten. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah that a son shall be given unto us. That child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. I said, The child is what brought us to the world. Jesus, yes, yes, you will tell it to the Lord. Baba, mi baba, mi o. My father, my father. Oh, ni moto wa bata ko mi sile. What thing have I done that you have rejected me? Oh, ni mo she ta je baba fun mi mo. What thing have I done that you have rejected me? Ni wa ta ti Olorun e sha nu fun mi ada mi pada. Your spirit father is coming. Eja mi pada. Eja mi pada. Mo se ja omo. Mo se ke ma je baba fun mi. Emi re fo ko yi wa Olodumare. E ti je Olorun alagbara. Jesus, Oluwawa. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Eni da da ni Jesus akbaro miro. 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 Wani baba mi baba mi o. You say my father, my father. 
Baba me. Prove that you are my father. Baba man do it, your money. Father defend me. Baba soul. man do it, your money. Father stand Baba by your soul. Baba man buy me, your father daddy. Baba so she le ri to mo le ri cha ni baba wa. O ya baba e ja wa fa yi lo lo. E ja wa fa yi ni baba mi. E ja wa fa yi ni baba mi. Baba o lo wo gbogboro. E fa mi yo kuro ninu ofin ti mo ba ara mi. E fa mi yo kuro ninu ofin ti mo ba ara mi. E fi o pe so gun ti mo ja. E fi o pe so gun to ja mi. Be ke ske ni de mama ko pa sheta. Man de re de bo so tada. Ma za tela. Jesus Oluwa wa. In Jesus name. E ja mi e pe meta Jesus Oluwa wa. Ah, me, ah, me, ah, you will pray. Oh, Baba, here I am. The hand of the everlasting Father. Don't pray your God in your face. That brings someone out of the valley of this earth. Before this year comes to an end, bring me out of all the problems of my life. Ah, I want Baba here, here. The end of the everlasting Father. Don't be a crow, no sorrow, here. Now bring someone out of the problem of this world. From the valley of the Lord. Here to 2023, he don't worry. Before the end of this year, 2023, I walk by the cup, baby, and bring me out of Oh, yeah, my Badura. Begin to pray. Badura. Pray. I will not die in this problem. I will not die in this hardship. In the rock of Sharif. In the rock of Shantali Akabashan. Jesus. Oh, Ludan Dewa. Jesus, me a boy, me a Jesus, Olu Dandewa. Jesus, our Redeemer. Baba, here I am to call upon you. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Allah, no ti, do you ti ni? The Lord and the Lord, we glorify you. Adukwe, we thank you. Adukwe, we thank you. Adukwe, kori pe emu ojo ni wa saye. We thank you because you are bringing this day to pass in Orile Mountain. We thank you because salvation has come. Deliverance has come. Healing has come. Ah, Aluatite. Breakthrough has come. Promotion has come. Baba Ekba Kwewa. Father accept our presence. Baba Ekba Yewa. Father accept our presence. All of you will go and watch you and say amen to your son. Lord, for everyone saying amen this afternoon. All of you will not die. Lord, answer their prayer by fire. Obiti atengba me. Wherever we are hearing this say. All of you will not die. All of you will not die. Blessings into their hands. December la wa yi. We are in December. Mamba dura. I'm praying. I want tao nefe je yi rubo. The enemies will not use your blood for sacrifice. Ori yon ne so la dara je. Your head will not sleep in the pool of blood. Oko yon buyo. Glory will show forth. Adu kwa tori kwa ti kwa wa. Thank you because you have answered us. Jesu akbara wa. Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, ne go get hallelujah. We'll be ministering to us in a short ministration with a title that says, Oba Aye Raye, the Everlasting Father. May you be blessed as you watch in Jesus' name. Olo yato, 
Let your faith be at work this afternoon. So that when our daddy begins to speak, your faith, your faith, we join with the faith of our father in the Lord. A miracle will take place in your life. I'm happy to announce to us this afternoon that our beloved daddy our esteemed daddy our coach is around this afternoon the Lord has sent him to visit us in Iban and by the time he will begin to speak the word of God there will be divine visitation I'm happy to introduce to us this afternoon the general overseer of the redeemed Christian church of God our, our beloved daddy Baba Pastor Enoch Adetari Adeboye Put your hands together for Jesus Well let somebody shout hallelujah well, God, God bless you man <laughs> There's somebody here right now. It doesn't matter what the devil may do. You're going to see the new year. If you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. I rejoice with you in this town today because this is the first time i'm coming here and i believe god has a first time kind of miracle for somebody and i know you will get your own Usually when I come for go out fishing like this, I come down in a town, pray for them for five minutes, and then I will be on my way. Because there are several places I must visit in a day. But today, because you are very, very special, I will share with you for about five minutes. 
before we pray and then I will have to run away. But I want to promise you something. None of you will ever forget today. We want to talk about the everlasting father. You see, Jesus Christ has many names. And each one of his names has a specific importance. For example, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, we call his name wonderful. That means he can perform wonders for you. And in the name of that wonderful Jesus, you will receive a wonder today. They call him counselor. That means a great advisor. Someone who can give you an advice when nobody else can. For example, in Daniel chapter 2, a king had a dream. When he woke up, he had forgotten the dream. So he called all the wise men together. He said, tell me my dream. Which I have forgotten. And then give me the interpretation. The wise man said, Nobody ever has anyone to interpret a dream that you do, you have forgotten. And the king says, if you don't tell me my dream. And then give me the interpretation. He said, I will kill all of you. But there was a man there called Daniel. He said, Give me an opportunity to consult my God. And in the night, God told him the dream. And the interpretation. Whenever you find yourself in a tight situation. And you don't know how to get out of it. Jesus is called the counselor. He can tell you what to do. That's why I can prophesy to all the students who are here. Today. From now on, you will never fail another exam. Then they call him Mighty God. The one who can do anything. The one who can say to somebody who is 90 year old, you will have a child. And when Sarah heard that and laughed, God said, is there anything too hard for me to do? I have good news for those of you who are here today. Your own will not be impossible with God. And then finally, anyway, because of time, they call him Everlasting Father. Two words. Father. Baba. Everlasting. Ayeraye. Now, Father is not a name. Baba is your It's a title. Father simply means the source. Baba atumasi It also means the provider. Ona ni You see, before you were born. 
at the very your very very source God was there and because he was there at your beginning he can take care of what is whatever is going to happen to you in the future and I'm prophesying to every one of you here today. If there's anything wrong at your source, the father we are talking about, we put it right today. If there's anything waiting for you in the future, the one who made you, we correct that thing. And this father is the original physician. He was the first one to perform an operation. And when he performed the operation, there wasn't a drop of blood. I have good news for somebody here today. What no doctor can do. My father will do it for you. This father Baba is the richest person in the whole world. He says, Silver is mine. Gold is mine. Uh, a a cattle upon a thousand hills. He said, They are mine. He said, I'm the one who will make people rich without adding any sorrow to it at all. Some people may not believe me, but mark my word. Before the new year, somebody is here. God is going to do something for you that will put an end to poverty in your family forever. So I can go on and on and talk. About how good he is. How powerful he is. How rich he is. How is the only one who can promote. How he can open doors and nobody can shut. How when he says yes, nobody can say no. I can continue for a long time. But some people have been waiting since uh, 10 o'clock somewhere else. Now they now say something about this father. They call him everlasting. What do they mean by that? If your father is the president, you will enjoy the Presidency for eight years. Oh, my jam, Fanny, Papa, and your little lady for do my job. After eight years, then you do my job. Your father will become ex president. Papa, and your my jam, or not your lady, and no. Because he was elected into office. And they elect him out. As it took it back at the Kuroni Bay. But this father I'm talking about, nobody voted for him. He was the original majesty. He has been king before the world began. He will be king when the world is no more. His name is I am. So whatever he has done in the past, he can do it today. And he can do it tomorrow. So when you see this God in action, in the life of somebody, 
You can be assured that because he did it before, he will do it again. Because he did it for somebody, he can do it for me. So the big question is, is he your father? Because if I ask everybody here now, and say those of you who are children of God, raise your hand, all hands will go up. But uh, in Elisha, where I come from, there's a proverb. He said, every Jesha is the child of Owa. But when the night comes, Owa knows how many children come to his house. The Bible says, God knows those who are his own. Those who are his own are those who get any miracle they want from him. A woman came to him and came to him, came to this father. And he said, please, I did a miracle. He said, ah, I don't give the bread of children to dogs. He said, miracles belong to my children. That's why I'm begging you. This is a very, very special day in your life. You are not the one who wrote to ask me to come. As a matter of fact, if you ask your pastor, he will tell you that I'm the one who said this year I'm going to Igba. I said there are several other places, but this year, I'm going to Igba. And why did I say so? Because God said I must do so. Because God knows that there is somebody here in Igba whose miracle can no longer wait. Whose time has come. But that fellow must be a child of God. So if you are not sure that you are one of his children, I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about knowing that you know that you know that you are a child of God. And the way you will know is that you will no longer be interested in sin. Then I am sure. You will get your miracle today. But if you are not sure that you are truly a child of God, you can be one now. All he's asking you to do is surrender your life to him. So if you want to surrender your life to Jesus, you want to become one of his children. You want him to save your soul. I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, come and stand before me here. Don't wait for your friend. It is you God has come for. And he is calling you to come and surrender your life to God. Come now. I'm counting. One. The choice is yours. Come, 
God has done everything he's going to do. He sent me directly to you. Hear this word. Two. If you are coming, you have to hurry up. Because I'm going somewhere else. Very, very Three. Today is the day of salvation. Don't leave this thing till tomorrow. Because you never can tell, tomorrow may never come. Only God knows when next I will be here. But at least I'm here today. Make this day your day of salvation. Hurry up, hurry up. Four. Oh, thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Now, those of you who are already in front, and those of you who are on the way, cry to Jesus Christ. As ah, everlasting Father, have mercy on me. Save my soul. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I will say bye bye to sin. And I will do your will. And the rest of that are sure of our salvation. Please stretch your hand towards these people and pray for them. Pray that the one who saved your soul will save your own soul also. Pray for them. And those of you who are on the way, hurry up. Because I'm about to pray for salvation. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I can see one or two people. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their life to you. Please receive them. Save their soul. Let your blood wash away their sin. Let them become children of God from now on. And from this moment onward, whenever they cry unto you, answer them by fire. Let it be well, <coughs> let it be well with them. And let them serve you to the end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, I rejoice with those of you who have come forward. And I'm promising you as a man of God that from now on, I will be praying for you. So I will need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. The counselors will come they will help me collect this information. And very soon, you will be receiving miracles that you have not even asked for. And then you know somebody is somewhere praying for you. And that somebody is me. Congratulations. Now, the rest of us, 
If you are sure that today is your day, that this is the day God will answer your prayer, please stand on your feet and shout a big hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. And after I've prayed for you, then you'll be praying for yourself. You'll be asking God for a Christmas present. A miracle that only God can do. And you want it by Christmas Day. Uh, but that is after I've prayed for you. Let us pray. My father, my God, I want to thank you. I want to give you all glory and honor for all your children who are here today. You are the one who asked me to come. And I know you always answer my prayers. I know you will answer today. Accept my thanks in Jesus. Name. Now, these your children are going to ask you for something special now. Whatever they ask from you, Father, please give unto them. If they ask you for healing, give to them. If they ask for promotion, give to them. If they ask for breakthrough, give to them. If they ask for victory, give to them. Whatever miracles they ask from you today, before the sun sets today, Father, release to them. Before Christmas Day, let all your children here have a new testimony. And when you've done it for them, don't let them forget you. Let us serve you to the end. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now it's your turn to pray. It's between you and God now. The next five minutes. Forget everybody. And go to God. I say everlasting father. Before Christmas Day. I want this particular day. Go ahead, talk to God. It's between you and God now. He's going to answer you. Go ahead, ask him. 